welcome everybody to another exciting edition of Weird Wednesday from BalonyBrain.com. I'm, of course, John House. Joining me, as always, my co-host, Daryl House, or Suburban Hobo. How you doing, Daryl? Ah, I'm having a beautiful day. I did a school visit this morning. I went to an elementary school and played for the fourth and fifth graders. Had a great time already. And it's a gorgeous day in South Florida. So. Hey, we got 72 here, so it's pretty nice. Uh, we're, we're rocking it out. Isn't there a country song like that, 72 and something? Uh, I, it's, so, I can't think right away. I, I heard this on Kiss 99 the other day. But anyway, uh, remember that movie, um, Soylent Green? Oh, no. Yeah, I have one of those stories here. Oh. Worker finds body in fortune cookie dough making machine. Inscrutable, you know. Uh, Houston police say autopsy results are pending on a worker killed in the accident at the Wonton Food Incorporated facility. He was, um, they're investigating the death of this 26 year old man who was found inside an industrial fortune cookie dough mixer. Uh, the name has not been released. Investigators say the man had been operating an industrial dough mixer when another worker discovered his body in the machine. In the machine. Houston police do not suspect foul play. One time I was going to, uh, I wanted to mention, uh, also has a huge factory in New York and others around the country, and they're known as one of the leading producers of fortune cookies around the world. They also make other Asian food under the Golden Bowl brand, just in case somebody's thinking, they're eating people. <laughs> They're eating people. And, and the guy, you know, last night when he was eating Chinese, he, he found a fortune cookie that said, don't go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I think I found the Japanese. I think I found the Japanese. I really think so. All right. Well, he, this, uh, uh, you know, we've had some times together. And this one, I couldn't help it. It reminded me of you and I. If uh, If you crash into a police officer and the officer asks you for your driver's license, here's a little tip. Don't hand him a beer instead. <laughs> police, police in Dudwoody, Georgia, says that uh, Damon Tobias Exome, 37, after slamming into a patrol car shortly after 2 a.m., which he apparently didn't realize he did, the uh, the driver, the police officer pursued him, stopped his vehicle, asked him for his driver's license, and he uh, he handed the officer a beer. <laughs> he, he was he was arrested on eight misdemeanor charges, including DUI and reckless driving. Uh, it was his third DUI arrest, uh, and he's being held in uh, DeKalb County Jail on a $3,200 bond. He's going to get it right one of these days. <laughs> well, that's, listen, my, that's awesome, though. Uh, I, here, officer. Here, here. Hold my hold my beer while I find my license. <laughs> What's the uh, the guy who gets pulled over by speeding and the wife says, "Yeah, that, yeah, my husband will be drunk." <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not sure you're you're gonna lose your joke telling privileges after last week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, this is a beer. This is another beer story. There's a restaurant up in Philadelphia. It's called Pyt, uh, and they have a new sandwich called a fried chicken and beer burger. And it includes a fried wonton filled with Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. <laughs> Uh, Philadelphia, the burger makers at a Philadelphia restaurant have come up with this creation that combines cheese, beer, and fried chicken into one sandwich. The, uh, it features a cheese topped southern fried crunchy chicken patty and has a Pabst Blue Ribbon filled fried wonton on it. So the beer in the wonton explodes. I the best way. This is just incredible. The name of the burger is slightly misleading because it really is more of a chicken sandwich, but beer lovers probably won't be complaining. Available for a limited time, PYT Sandwich is just the latest offbeat uh, offering from this restaurant. The eatery previously put out a spaghetti bun burger, a deep fried turkey burger, and a deep fried Elio's pizza burger. Uh, none, of, none of them sound as good as the beer burger, though. The beer burger kind of works for me. Well, uh, don't let your high school party get out of hand. And this actually happened to one of my daughters, uh, something kind of like this. Um, they had a, uh, in Ontario, Canada, they had a party at an unfinished mansion. It was just going to be a little, little teen party until it got out on social media and 2,000 teens showed up. Uh, about $70,000 worth of damage was done to the, uh, the 5,000 square foot unfinished, uh, mansion, but, uh, 
from the pictures that that was on uh, the internet, it looks like it was quite a hoot nanny. I heard that that kids were coming in buses. <laughs> they chartered buses. I don't doubt it. Yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I caught that news story earlier. Uh, uh, Seventy. Kids, what's the matter with kids today? <laughs> well, there's one of the, this is Florida. You know, this is my state. I'm a Buckeye by birth and a Floridian by choice. But, but out of Fort Pierce, uh, a Florida woman who was arrested and charged with throwing Kool Aid at her son during an argument is likely not saying, "Oh yeah." Fort Pierce police arrested uh, Yativa McCollum after she told them she tossed a full glass of Kool Aid at her son when he called a bad name. The glass hit the 33-year-old man on the head and body. The 60-year-old uh, told police that something hit her in the lip after she threw the beverage. She stated that she has glaucoma and could not see what the object was, but was certain it was not a fist or open hand. She stated it had a metallic sound. The son said that his mother ran into a bedroom after chucking in the Kool-Aid <laughs> and that he believed she hit her lip on bunk beds. McCollum was charged with battery and taken to the St. Lucie County Jail. Poor mama. Well, even at 33 years old, if I would have raised my hand to my mama, even if she threw Kool-Aid at me, she would have beat me like Muhammad Ali. <laughs> Rope <Robert> dope. <laughs> Well, uh, this, I, I got another Florida story. Uh, Captain America sends teen photos of his penis. Oh, I saw this. Some heroes are born, others are just creeps in costume. A Florida man faces felony charges after he texted photos of his privates to a 16-year-old girl. Uh, James Alton, 29, uh, a superhero impersonator at Universal Studios, um, met the girl, took a photo with her. Then he, he started kind of stalking her on Facebook and uh, they started an online friendship. Well, then they started uh, exchanging text messages, and uh, and he decided it was a good idea to send her a picture to her cell phone. So Obviously. let me tell you, if if I would I would beat Captain America senseless. <laughs> Listen, John, there was another story that, that I found earlier today, and I don't have it with me right now, but when I read this, I started to copy it and, and edit it for, you know, for Weird Wednesday here, and I thought, this story has John's name written all over it. I said, I said, he will do this, and if I do this, we're going to come. Did you see the one about the guy who wanted to marry his his Apple computer and is all stuffed, all, all full of porn, and he applied to, to get a marriage. I said, the judge turned him down, but he wanted to marry his his his, uh, his computer. No, I thought you would have, you'd be all over this story. He uh, he said, you know, if same sex marriages can be recognized, then then the object of my sexual preference should also be recognized, and mine no. happens to be my Apple computer. No. I tell you. Anyway, I'm I'm sorry. I, I, we're just throwing an extra story in here. Well, I, there is there is an extra story I've got too. It, it's right. on another website, and I can't remember what the website is, but it's featured on uh, on the Huffington Post. They've got a link to it, so you can go to their weird stories page, and they've got a, a link to the 37 worst selfies of mothers, <laughs> and mothers. it is it is hysterical. <laughs> I'll go look at it. <laughs> That's right. Well, in the meantime, folks, <laughs> thanks for joining us on Weird Wednesday at BalonyBrain.com. It's always a treat just to uh, share these these fun stories with you. John, your story. Have a uh, great As always, we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye-bye.